Celebrating the past, present, and future of women in the FBI. Special agents from the Albany Field Office traveling to, to FBI headquarters earlier this week to recognize all of the hardworking women in the agency. News 10 ABC's Jen Selig following their story. Today, women serve in every one of the FBI's 56 field offices, but that wasn't the case not too long ago. On July 17, 1972, Joanne Pierce Misco and Susan Rowley Malone began their special agent training course at the FBI Academy in Quantico, Virginia. Fast forward to five decades later, they reunited to mark 50 years since that historic day. We have come a long way in this organization. Six current female special agents in charge joined in on the celebration, including Albany SAC Janine D. Giuseppe. She's been with the agency for 23 years, and in those two decades, she herself has seen the organization evolve, getting bigger, better, and stronger with more female special agents along her side. You need the diversity, whether it's women, African American, Asian, members of the LBGTQ community. We need to reflect the communities we serve. All three special agents call themselves very fortunate to travel to the FBI headquarters and meet the Bureau's senior female leadership. Special Agent Ellen Thurmer learning a lot during that trip. It's important to get comfortable being uncomfortable and that that's a major way to succeed um, in the agency. Um, and it seems like all of the women who we spoke to got really comfortable being uncomfortable and they just had to power through. And they're hoping younger girls with big aspirations will never lose sight of their mission and goals. Have confidence in themselves and take a chance on themselves because the worst thing would be to you know, pull a resume or to um, not give yourself an opportunity to walk through a door when it's open for you. It's not always going to be an easy path, but you need to focus that, on that what your dream is and work through the hard times because it's not always easy. But it's for sure rewarding. In Albany, Jen Selig, News 10 ABC.